Rocky Automation. Uh, friends, today in this video I am going to discuss with you about uh, IG5 uh, AVFT wiring. So if you have 5 IG VFT, uh, how you can wire the control terminals as well as power terminals. So first of all friends, uh, you can see the wiring diagram on the right side there is UVW this is the power connection for the motor you have to connect these three terminals to the motor and on the other side you have RST terminals uh, this is for the power supply you have to connect here three phase input you can connect L1, L2 or L3 and friends on the top you can see P1 plus and B1 B2 and here is written N negative Friends, these terminals are used for DC reactor and DB resistors. It's an optional connection. If you would like to use, you can use for DC reactor. If you are using DC braking system. And friends, see on the right side, there is written AM and CM terminal. These are the multifunction terminals you can use for the analog input. Sorry, use you can use for analog output. Zero to ten volts standard of these input terminals you can use only zero to ten volts. Don't go above these values. Next, friends, on the right side, town, you can see three terminals. It's written 3A, 3C, and 3B. 3A is an output terminal, 3C is a common terminal, and 3B is an output terminal as well. Friends, this is a relay which is having one normally open contact and one normally closed contact 3b and 3c is the common terminal you can use this relay for many functions you have to select in the parameters and friends Next, you have on the right side MO and MG. It's an it's a transistor. It's the collector output, and this is the common. So, friends, this terminal you can use for many functions as well. You can use for the fault functions. If there is any fault, will give you a signal that there is fault on the VFT. Next, friends, there is another terminal on the right side which is written S plus and S minus is RS485 communication terminal you can use this terminal to communicate the VFT 
you can see different types of parameter inside the VFT was going on through a software you have to use these terminals for the communication interface and uh, friends on the left side you can see down here there are four terminals these are using for a variable resistor input if you would like to use your VFT through a potential meter that can be 1 to 2 watt and 1 kilo ohm don't exceed the value as recommended by the company so the VR terminal is going to connect to the potentiometer and this is the power supply 10 volt for potentiometer and V1 is the variable inputs to the VFT that can be 0 to 10 volt or minus 10 to plus 10 volt and the I terminal you can give here a variable current on this terminal and here the fourth terminal is a common terminal for the potentiometer next on the left side there are some control terminals which is from p1 to p8 and friends these terminals you can configure for many purposes p1 is a forward run of the vft p2 is the reverse run and CM is the control terminal it's a common terminal common control terminal and P5 is the emergency stop and P4 is the reset P5 is jog operation and again CM is the common signal and P5 is again used for the speed commands so 6, 7, 8 can be used for the speed commands and the next we have one G terminals which will be connected to the main earth terminal so friends, this is how you can avoid your LSIG5 VFT. If you have any doubt, please mention in the comment and uh, I hope I can reply a positive uh, message. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.